The DeRoyal M2100 SL Safety Auto Reset Monitor offers a variety of features to assist clinicians. On the front of the monitor is the reset button. The reset button is used to reset the alarm after a patient has exited the chair or bed. Located to the left of the reset button is the low battery indicator. It will blink and the monitor will beep if the battery needs to be replaced. If connected to nurse call system, the call system will be alerted as well. The pad loss indicator will blink, warning the clinician that the pad is not connected to the monitor. When the system is in use and pressure is on the pad, the status light will blink every four seconds. This gives caregivers a visual that the system is in use. The speaker is located directly below the monitor status. The caregiver key can be used in reset button mode to temporarily disengage the alarm when needing to get a patient out of bed or chair or as a tamper resistant function. On the left side of the monitor, there is an AC adapter port. This port can be used with the optional DeRoyal AC adapter to charge the monitor in lieu of the batteries. The caregiver key toggle option is located directly above the AC adapter port. The nurse call cord port is located on the right side of the monitor and is to be used in conjunction with the DeRoyal nurse call cord. This will link the DeRoyal fall alarm to the hospital's nurse call system. On the back of the monitor, slide the compartment up and out to reveal the interior. Inside you will find the battery compartment housing three AA batteries. There are three alarm tone options to choose from a full range volume adjustment, and three delay options. Alarm tones, volume, and delay option selections should be based on facility protocol. Always test the alarm monitors and sensor pads before using them to ensure that they are functioning properly. Choose a desired location on the bed or wheelchair to place and or attach the monitor. To test the alarm, Connect the sensor pad cord to the monitor. Make sure to wrap the cord around the anchor located on the bottom of the monitor. Place pressure on your sensor pad. Two short beeps will indicate the system is functioning properly. Releasing pressure from the pad will set off the alarm. The system will reset if the reset button is pressed or if pressure is applied to the sensor pad. When the monitor is turned on and the patient is on the sensor pad, the monitor status button will flash every four seconds to let staff know that the monitor is in use. When connecting the sensor pad cord to the monitor, pinch the cord together and route it through the strain relief recess on the fall monitor. Insert the plug into the plug input located on the bottom of the monitor. When using the system with a wheelchair, place the monitor on the wheelchair seat back using the strap with buckle. Once the sensor pad is in place, test the system. Place pressure on the pad to activate the sensor pad. The monitor will beep two times to indicate that the sensor pad and fall monitor are in use. Help the patient into the wheelchair or recliner. The fall monitor can be mounted on the wall or on the head of the hospital bed. When connecting the sensor pad cord to the monitor, pinch the cord together and route it through the strain relief recess on the fall monitor. Insert the plug into the plug input located on the bottom of the monitor. Place the sensor pad on the bed. Test the system. Place pressure on pad to activate the sensor pad. The monitor will beep two times to indicate that the sensor pad and fall monitor are in use. When using a monitor with a bed sensor pad, place the sensor pad on the bed under the patient's shoulders to detect early movements. To be notified if a patient is getting up out of bed, place the bed sensor pad on the bed under the patient's hips. The caregiver key can be used to temporarily disengage the alarm when needing to get the patient out of bed or chair without the monitor alarming. Simply place the caregiver key magnet in the red circle labeled caregiver key on the front of the alarm. 
the alarm is now temporarily disengaged. To re-engage the alarm, remove the caregiver key. The alarm will re-engage when pressure is placed on the pad. Caregivers may make the monitor tamper resistant by switching it to caregiver key mode. In caregiver key mode, the reset button is disabled and only the caregiver can reset an alarming monitor with the caregiver key. This helps to ensure patients and visitors cannot disengage the alarm. To switch the monitor to caregiver key mode, locate the reset button port on the left side of the monitor. Slide the switch to caregiver key mode. To test, release pressure from the pad. Press the reset button. The reset button should not disengage the alarm.